of rebirth across the board are just all all positive i mean from the 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 changes to combat improvements to combat the story's interesting voice acting is is great across the board some of the actors even sound a little bit better than before attention to detail in like the flashback scenes where cloud is remembering uh the nibelheim incident and uh the way that cloud is acting uh, and all of that, uh, just the attention to detail with all of that, the, the fact that they added crafting and it looks interesting, how easy it is to navigate the open world and interact with the open world. You can pick up stuff as you walk by, just like on like Horizon Forbidden West or Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, they added a bunch of like world activities like you would see in Ubisoft games, but it's fun to do. Uh, you've got all these interesting characters that you're interacting with while you're doing it, so it doesn't feel like boring, busy work. Granted, I'm only... I'm only about six hours into the game, uh, five, five hours and eight minutes into the game. So these are like very first impressions. But my first five hours with this game have been excellent. Excellent. Um, they're continuing to, you know, make changes to the story. We're going through a new story now is what it feels like. But it it feels like a mix of a new story with a ton of callbacks to the original you know, uh, I don't want to get into any spoilers. I talk about the content that we've seen too much, but changes to the party system and the way that that's handled. It's just like accessibility and making the game less frustrating. Materia is easy to exchange between party members. Now you can have three, diff three different preset parties. Materia levels up on people that are not in combat. There's just a ton of things that they did that make this game easier to play not in terms of difficulty but in terms of being less annoying less frustrating it's got all of the good things all of the fun things and most of them have been improved or changed for the better you've got new skill trees you've got a separate skill tree for your character and separate skill trees for weapons they brought in the synergy system from what was it crisis core reunion or the ufi deal it was the ufi dlc right where you've got team attacks that you can use now and you unlock those in skill trees and uh, you still got the synergy materia and materia is better you've got all these new materia now um like there's one materia i saw that's like fire and ice on the same materia. So you don't have to have one fire, one ice, one wind, uh, you know, one lightning. So you're you're set for all the different types of enemies. Some of the materia now can have multiple um, elements assigned to one materia. Just, just little things, man, that make such a big difference. Like when you add it all up, it just improves the experience of the game so much. I feel like I'm moving faster. I feel like I'm having more fun. I'm less frustrated. Um, like, like moving material around and changing party members used to be so annoying in remake. It, it wasn't like that big of a deal because the game was so good. Uh, and, and the game was obviously trying so many new things at once that of course it didn't execute everything perfect and everything wasn't totally fleshed out. But here it feels like, you know, they, they had that foundation with remake and they just fleshed it out and they ironed out all these little wrinkles that were just making the experience, throwing pacing off and things like that, making you spend way too much time in menus. Here, it's just better in every way. Better in every way. You still got an amazing soundtrack. Uh, I, I think that they need to add a little bit of motion blur to the graphics mode and the performance mode. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not trying to be mean. The performance mode is not good. It's just not good. It's way too blurry. I don't know what's going on with the performance mode, but hopefully that's just an optimization patch and, and, and we can move on with that. That would be great. Uh, if they could even find a way to get us up to, you know, over 40 frames per second, people could use VRR or something, you know. Um, yeah, anti-performance mode. Yeah, chat. So, uh, you know, but, but as far as the game itself, like some optimization patches would go a long way. But as far as the game itself, man, I, I struggle to... I struggle to have any complaints. You even have new ways that you can interact with your party members in town. If any of you have ever played the Star Ocean series and you're familiar with um, the private actions that you could have in towns with party members that would increase or decrease your relationship with them, you've got that now or, you know, a, an implementation of that here that's deeper than it was in Remake. And it's awesome. It's awesome. 
uh, you get to make, uh, pl so far I've gotten to make plenty of dialogue choices as I play. Not all of them feel super meaningful, but it's just better. It's just, it's just the, it's the remake just improved, fleshed out. Um, and, and it's just better in, in pretty much every way, like better. That's just, just better. Like whatever you liked about remake, it's better here. Combat. The audio in combat is, is is so much better. It feels so much better to be in combat, so much more fun. I've seen materia that allows your, your AI teammates or party members to start using their skills and abilities without you having to manually stop the combat and switch to them to do it, which is awesome. It's just, just everything that in my mind, I was like, man, this is kind of annoying. This is kind of frustrating. It would be cool if they changed this. It would be cool. It would be cool if they improved this. I feel like so far in these first five hours, they've answered almost every complaint I had, you know, super happy, super happy with rebirth. My, my impressions are, are extremely positive right now. Extremely positive, you know, G give us that optimization patch for the, for the graphics and, uh, you know, and, and then we'll see. I'll have to spend more time with things like crafting to see how deep it really is. But right now it's fun. I'll have to spend more time with the side quests and the, um, the, the, the world, you know, interactions that you can do and the, the side content and the exploration missions and exploration content and all this and that. I have to spend more time with it to see if I get tired of it over time. But right now I don't feel that way at all. And all of the, it helps that all of the characters that I'm interacting with that, you know, are parts of these side missions and side content, all the characters that I have to interact and get these missions through and that I'm turning these missions in, they're all interesting. The dialogue is interesting. They're well voice acted. They're well designed. And so it makes it feel like not necessarily filler. It feels like extra. I don't feel like I have to do it. It feels extra, um, but also the rewards that I've received uh, for doing these, you know, for doing side content has been rewarding, has been good. I've been like, oh yeah, good. I'm glad I got that. That's excellent. So yeah, yeah, right now, I, right now I'm just incredibly happy with my experience with the game and, you know, we're going to stream it again tomorrow and we're going to keep streaming it. We're going to finish it. And, you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes as we go through it. I'll give my thoughts at the end, but my thoughts here at the beginning, super happy, super, super happy.